come back in recession at 7 40 p.m. Make sure you've got no options or motions or no names. Discuss your recession. Item number 15 Discuss and take possible action regarding Giannotti versus the town of Seymour, Sedona. I can make a motion to accept or recommend this item. Did you just make a motion to allow this item? Mm -hmm. I just said, yeah. I don't think you did, did you? No, no. You'd have to say the time, right? That is a matter of debate. I do it different yeah, every that's time. That's the Board of Education decides. Most public bodies on the world do not, but they do make on the record in the minutes the time that right. they have right. to right. 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 Right.
Immigration Appeals Center Office of Social Protection Commission is a regulatory body. I would suggest that in February that uh, the board look at the uh, proposed test changes and we get a referral from them. Um, that hasn't happened. It's required by state statutes that each municipality has a commission. Again, there's a whole lot of things going on and it's been it needs some attention. A lot of people spoke, nobody was in favor of multi-family housing in there. Everybody wants economic development or tax breaks too. But uh, there seems to be some improprieties the way this thing is all being handled. Looks like it'll be sent up for appeal. Thank you. Is there any other public comment? Is there any other public comment? Okay, hearing no public comment, we'll close the public comment. We'll move on to item number 21, selections, public comments. Come on. Uh, yeah, first, um, I just want to say how much I will miss uh, serving with Karen Stanek. Um, she, dating back to my days in high school, um, she, her and I, we, we would often butt heads, but I had such a great deal of admiration for her and um, and I think it was it was mutual. She helped me a lot as I uh, as I got onto this board and through um, the Seymour Democratic Town Committee. Obviously, in high school, uh, some of her classes were the best, and that's where I really became inspired uh, in part to pursue um, local office. She really cared deeply about community, community service, and um, it was you know I just feel very fortunate to have served with her, and uh, and again I will miss her a lot. Um, on a kind of similar note, uh, Frank Conroy, uh, another person who I have been inspired by and um, touched by, um, someone I've always gone to for counsel, and uh, he, he will be very missed uh, in this town in terms of his service. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a big loss. Uh, him being involved on elected and appointed boards uh, was, was a huge plus for the town. and. Um, and so that's another loss. Uh, on a more positive note, uh, congratulations and welcome to Rob. Um, I know Karen was uh, very fond of you. Karen would be very happy that you'd be taking her seat. And uh, I look forward to getting started to work with you. So thank you. Thank you, Stefan. Yeah. just want to echo what Stefan said. We're, we're going to miss Karen Stanek uh, quite a bit on this board. She always took her job seriously. As an elected official, always had uh, comments to make us think and question certain things. So um, Fred's words tonight were really uh, gracious. Uh, of course, we all support Fred and uh, his family. So that was very nice of Fred to come out tonight and, and uh, say those things. But um, also, uh, welcome, Rob. Look forward to serving with you. And um, that's really it. Anything else? Amber. Um, just to reiterate, um, Karen will be missed. I will uh, surely miss her and her guidance, and uh, my daughter's guidance in history. Alana looked up to her in that, and I looked up to Karen for a lot of things. Congratulations, Rob. We look forward to working with you on this board. As far as Mr. Frank Conroy, I had the opportunity to serve with him on the Board of Selectmen when I first came on in 2007. Um, vast of knowledge, great for respect for him. I wish him and his family lots of prayers and wishes. On a much lighter note, I'd like to congratulate Lexi Mashad for the logo design for the Seymour Public Schools. That was great, as well as congratulate the Seymour High School cheerleaders. Um, also, we remember a couple meetings back, we had Mission 22 in here to speak about the suicide prevention for, the, uh, for our veterans returning. I'm actually going to get together. I supposed to have a meeting last week, but I have been was sick. So we're having a meeting Friday here at 7 o'clock in the Norma Drummer Room. Just going to meet with a bunch of people to get this going, um, just to get it going. If anybody wants to come, you're more than welcome. We're hoping to do a Valley-wide event, including Seymour, Shelton, Derby, and Sonia, as well as Oxford, um, to bring awareness to the suicide prevention for, for our veterans. It's a, it's a really great cause. So I hope to have some board of select members on that as well as on um, emergency management and the police department um, and hope to get some uh, vendors in town about go ahead Bob. yeah no on the same thing uh, for Karen uh, 
it was great to see the towns outpouring and and everybody's you know what they did for her uh, for him and the funeral and the wake and everything else great to see the town all come together for somebody who was very special to the town um, and the impact she had on so many people and I and I did on an island I just wanted to congratulate Rob for his uh, appointment to the role and I did a great job there so look forward to it. I have the same sentiments. Welcome, Bob. And uh, I won't repeat what everyone said, but uh, Karen will be sorely missed. She was a big support to my kids, even when they were not being well behaved. She's really a people person and wanted to see kids thrive um, and do well. And um, I've also had the opportunity to work with Frank Conroy. So and I, I appreciate the dedication he's had to the town. It's sorry to see that you know, his health has affected him to the point that he has to now step down from everything. So I wish him the best of luck. That's all I have. Thank you, Trish. Mr. Patron, anything you'd like to add? Anything we missed? Hmm? Paycheck. Oh, yeah, just uh, under um, the selectmen comments. I signed the contract today with Chris Pelosi, uh, so he will be starting as our HR director uh, sometime around the 22nd of April. Uh, that may be give or take a week on either side. Uh, his wife, uh, as you know, just had a baby, um, and they're still kind of going through the whole. It's their first kid. So they're going through the new parenting thing. So I said if he needed an extra week, um, that you know he'll just keep us in the loop. But he is eager, ready to go. We went to his office today. Uh, he put together a little list of some of the things that he will need. So um, he will be hitting the ground running on his first day. So we're very much looking forward to that. So, um, so with that, I will entertain a motion to Make adjourn. The motion, adjourn. Second. motion by Anne Marie, second by Trish. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Uh, chair votes aye. Motion passes 6-0. Mark the meeting closed at 7.54 p.m.